Let me show you how to determine if you can start a luxury assisted living in your market. I own and operate Platinum Resort Assisted Living and Memory Care in Georgetown, Texas. It's a luxury 16 bed assisted living and it's designed like a memory care mansion. My goal for bed rates is to match the most expensive new construction big box around. When I was opening my first assisted living, I was doing my market research and I found most assisted livings were on the lower end side. They were a little more affordable and only a few of them were really pushing the envelope on price. I had my doubts as I was building a 16 bedroom home that I'd be able to charge what those big, beautiful facilities were charging. That was until I learned this lesson, not to compare against the assisted livings that are around me, but to compare to who has a similar product that I have. So for me, I run a luxury memory care mansion. We offer all the care and amenities that you can get at one of those big smelly facilities, but we do it in a custom designed mansion. So the revelation for me was not to compare to the smaller residential assisted livings that were near me because they were not charging nearly what I wanted to charge, but they also did not have the services and amenities that I have. So I have to compare against the similar product, which in my case is the big facility. It's the luxury facility. It's the four story building that nobody really wants to be at, but they offer memory care and private rooms and a chef and a salon and a nurse on site, just like I do. So I need to match product to product. That's my big revelation. That's what I was able to learn and realize that if I am gonna compare my 16 bedroom home, I can't go compare it to the 10 bedroom home down the street that doesn't offer all of these services, I have to find who has the high-end memory care product. So I think of it like a car analogy. All of these assisted livings are just like cars. And there are people who will only drive a budget affordable car because it makes sense for them. They're gonna go get a Toyota Corolla. And the Toyota Corolla is gonna start every time, it's gonna be dependable, and it's gonna get them where they need to go. But there's other people who are at a different stage of life and they will only drive a Range Rover or a Corvette or some other luxury product. And that's what my assisted living is. I am trying to find the people who are past that stage of life where they don't want a Corolla anymore. They want to put their loved one in a Corvette of an assisted living. And since I only have 16 beds, it is very easy for me as I'm competing against the big smelly four story building down the road that I can fill my 16 beds because I'm only trying to find a small amount of people who are looking for the luxury assisted living product. The second realization that I had was not about the product, but about my customer. What is my customer's problem? What are they trying to solve? Because whatever solution I can create for them is what this is worth to them. As I'm coaching new students who are trying to open their own assisted livings, sometimes they say to me, hey Brett, I'm away from the city and there is no similar product to mine because there's no assisted livings around. There's only nursing homes. And I would say this, that you share the same customer of that local nursing home. If they have an option between choosing your future memory care mansion and their smelly, nasty facility, they're gonna come to your home, right? And if you can solve the same problem that that nursing home can, then you should be able to charge what that nursing home charges. And a lot of times they're pretty expensive.